everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make braised beef short ribs. Cue the music. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us. If this is your first time watching, please do me a favor, go down, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. Like I said, we're gonna be showing you how to make braised beef short ribs. So let's head over here and check out our ingredients. We're gonna, of course, start with our beef short ribs. These are our flanken cut or Asian cut. We'll get into a little bit more of that when we start browning these off. But then we're going to start out with our ingredients here. For the marinade, we have about a half a cup of chopped scallions, a quarter cup of minced fresh ginger, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, a quarter cup of sriracha sauce, a quarter cup of molasses, a quarter cup of poison sauce, a quarter cup of fresh lime juice, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I did not show you oil in this, but we will be using a tablespoon of oil to brown these ribs off. So with that, let's head over to our pan and start browning these off. All right, so what you want is you want a pan big enough to be able to hold the, the, the rib meat in there. Um, if you've got a grill, that'd be awesome because all you want to do is basically brown these off, kind of seal in the flavor. Um, and get the braising process started. So I've rinsed these off and I'm going to throw them right into that hot oil in the pan here. Like I'm going to have to do a couple batches here because they're not all going to fit in the pan. And like we talked about in the beginning when we were introducing our ingredients, these are um, flanken cut or Asian cut. Most of the time you're going to see the rib is going to have the rib beat and you're going to have a ton of meat on top and they're going to be cut this way. What they do with this primal cut is that they cut it lengthwise across the bone so you get the little bones this way instead of the um, thicker cut ones, almost like an oxtail. Um, so these are really good for, for braising, especially with this wonderful marinade we're going to be using. All you want to do is just make sure these are browned off. And while these are browning, Let's go ahead and start our marinade. And now that we've got those browning, we will just get our ingredients going in here. We've got our rice wine vinegar, our brown sugar, our ginger, the green onions. Now I did use the butt end of the stock and we're gonna use the rest of the green onions for when we plate up and make it pretty. So these are just in here for flavor. We got our sriracha, our molasses, our hoisin, our red pepper flakes, the fennel, and our lemon juice. All of these ingredients will be listed below with the amounts and measurements of it. But this is our marinade. Stir that up real well and let it set. And when those ribs are done, we'll pour this on top. All right, I've got the ribs all done, browned off in the crock pot. You can get your crock pot going early or your slow cooker going and getting warm if you want a little continuity in the cooking process. It is not necessary, but it is a pretty cool idea to do. Um, you got them all in the crock pot. Make sure that you got a crock pot big enough to put all your ribs into. And then you just put that sauce marinade right on top of it. And we'll be able to manipulate this a little bit later as it starts cooking to make sure that the sauce is hitting every aspect of this meat. But we're just gonna put all this right into our slow cooker, put the lid on it, on high for four to six hours, and then we'll see what it looks like. But we will be checking in on it periodically. All right, we're about two hours in. 
as you can see that juice marinade looks really good in there it's covering everything um, the meat's still kind of I hate to use the word tough but it's still kind of tough but the aroma coming off of this is incredible I'm just gonna let them continue to cook two more hours into it we'll check it again all right let's see what it looks like again look at that four hours into it bones aren't coming out of it yet the meat is a little tender when those bones start falling out we're knowing it's right but they're getting there it's getting there so we'll put the lid back on and we'll let it go about another hour and we'll check it then all right it's been close to six hours here these look incredible the bones are coming right out of this this meat is just going to fall apart so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull a couple of these out let them cool enough to cut them up and then we're going to plate this up we're going to take some awesome photos of it for social media then we're going to place those photos in the timeline with some really groovy music we're going to come back and we're going to give this a taste so enjoy the music and enjoy the pictures The same pan that we browned the ribs in, put a little of that sauce in there, heated it back up, and put the noodles in there. It smells really good. Give it a shot of these noodles first. Silky smooth. That sauce is really good. Really good on there. A little bit of noodle, a little bit of meat. Now I did when I cut these off the bone there was a little bit of the connective tissue which was like intercostal muscle that was in there because these are ribs so I kind of just trimmed that off it was next to the bone. Other than that these things are just beautifully they fell apart didn't even really need a knife. Mm. It's so good I can't even begin to explain the flavor. There's that meat I hope that focuses on that. It's just falling apart good. You can see the striations in the meat. Um, the udon noodles are a really good accompaniment with this. You can taste the ginger, the brown sugar, the vinegar, everything that went into this, the lime juice, the sweetness of that molasses. A um, little bit of heat with the sriracha, but not too much. But this falls apart. I mean, it could have gone another hour mostly, but it, it's perfect where it's at, but it could go a little longer if you really want it to be really, really tender and falling apart the pack where it's almost shredded um, then you could just mix it right up with your noodles or your rice or whatever you're making this would even be a good sandwich I think too but incredible flavor easy to make it's just basically a marinade browning off your ribs throwing them in the hot uh, crock pot and just walking away from them for six or seven hours so I'm gonna finish this off camera because I don't want to make a spectacle out of myself so I appreciate you watching Easy, braised, short ribs. Take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this channel and this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment down below and let us know how we did. And then share this video with everyone. Everyone that you know. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.